What's going on guys? It's Joey from CBC back with another video to show some more uh, stuff that I picked up off eBay uh, some more of my favorite slabs and then I'm also going to talk about five prospects that I'm really high on for the baseball season hopefully if we have one and then a major leaguer that I'm really 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 high on that I think uh, will have a, another great year he had a really sneaky year last year but wait till the end of the video to find out so first off uh, pick this up off eBay I only paid I think a dollar for it but you know how I'm big about refractors and this is a beautiful Andrew Jones Bowman Beth atomic refractor beautiful card these were atomic refractors were kind of tough to get in those boxes and packs so I saw that and I've, I've always liked Andrew Jones so I was like you know, I think it's just going to be a beautiful car once it gets in that SGC slab. So pick that one up. Uh, big shout out to Jeff Airtime. Last week I was in his uh, trivia. And I uh, actually won one of the questions on there. And uh, he sent me the Kurt Gibson rookie card. Uh, love Gibby. Uh, would like to get the sign hopefully one day. But I know with his health it's going to be kind of hard to get done. But thank you very much Jeff Airtime for that. And then also I was in uh, Mike O's... Uh, auction he had last week if you guys don't know Michael has a channel on here he was having an auction so I picked up a couple things and I picked up a uh, Victor Robles the Topps Chrome 35th anniversary the 83 edition and uh, I think he has a good future ahead of him with the Nationals so I kind of like how Robles could become a good player coming up he's one of the guys I'm also looking at and then I also picked up this nice Fernando Tatis. It's the Tops on Demand Rookie Review, a 9.5. Didn't have this card. I'm not big on buying this stuff off Tops' website. So he had this one, and I really liked the card. So I had to pick this up out of the auction. So that's my pickups that I've gotten recently. And then, uh, oh, wait, I take that back. I get one more. Uh, he was announced that they're going to have a documentary of this guy soon. And I'm telling you guys right now pick up Tiger Woods rookie cards. I was able to get a PSA 9. The 10s are already going up but Tiger Woods, they're supposed to have a documentary of him coming up and if you don't know that now you know. Grab a rookie card. They will go up. I guarantee Tiger Woods was arguably the best golfer in my middle ages and I don't think he's the greatest of all time but he was absolutely phenomenal for those years and everybody knows that. Now on to uh, some of my favorite cards that I have in my collection. Picked this up a couple years ago when I went to spring training down at the card shop right near where the Dodgers and White Sox have their facility. Uh, I can't remember the card shop's called, but they always have a couple boxes on the top of the glass cases of uh, cards that they're selling for like anywhere between a dollar to five bucks. So I picked up this card and I found it in their bin a couple years ago for five bucks. Now look at that. Beautiful Fernando Tatis Extra Edition Red Ink. Beautiful card. Um, I had heard of him at the time. He wasn't as big as everybody was at that time thinking he was going to be. This was back when he was with the White Sox. But uh, I love this card and I got it cheap and I'm very happy. It's probably one of the best snags I've had in a long time. Uh, got this done in a private signing. Probably the best defensive player in the NFL history I, I and he was one of my favorites but I don't know if he's aggressive all the time but to me he is mr. Lawrence Taylor his rookie card LT was just a beast I mean LT was amazing he was just flat-out amazing scarier scary as hell so I love LT so I had to get his rookie card done and I got it through a private signing and it came out beautiful uh, another guy the human vacuum cleaner that everyone called him back in the day. Uh, people say that Matt Chapman is the next coming of him. We'll see. But uh, we're talking about Mr. Brooks Robinson. His rookie card from the 1957 tops. Beautiful card. Like I said, some of these vintage cards I, ha I have, they're not in the best of shape. But the autos are always really nice on them. Really came out really well. The gray and the autos are mint nine, but the card I never got graded. Got a, got a bunch of old timers in this one. Uh, I have a 19 48 Bowman Enos Slaughter rookie card. Really bad cut on it. I mean, the cut on it's really, really bad, but 
Like I said, I do collect Hall of Fame rookie cards, and I did not have this one in my collection till now, so I picked that one up. Um, he had recently just passed away, the guy I'm about to talk to, and uh, glad I picked it up before he did, uh, Mr. Frank Robinson from the 1957 Tops. And uh, yeah, I've always liked Frank, Ta Frank Robinson, so very happy to get this one done, add to my rookie card collection. Another old timer. Card is in the worst shape you can probably think of, but it is a Warren Spawn rookie card. It's the real deal one. It doesn't say it on there. I bought it this way, but I guarantee I know it's the real deal. It's not a it's not a fake one at all. So it is a beautiful. The autograph's really nice on it, but the card is in really bad shape. Finding cards with of this year and this caliber in a good shape is really hard to do. And I uh, just got this one back. Not too long ago. Uh, the Mike Schmidt rookie card. With a big Mike Schmidt fan. Um, always loved watching him when I was younger. And this, it, it doesn't have anybody else on here. I thought about getting Ron Say to get his done, to get it signed. He does his mail. But then I was like, no, I'm not going to chance that to send that to him with the Schmidt already done. So I just said, no, I'm going to get it done this way. But love this card. One more is uh, the best baseball player right now in baseball is Mr. Mike Trout, the 2011 Heritage Miners. Um, I have this whole complete set signed. Having problems getting my Machado to get authenticated, but I'm still trying to get that one done. But yeah, I picked up the Trout and uh, yeah, like I said, I got this whole set autographed. Am I gonna try and get them all slabbed? No, but I'm probably gonna get them SOA'd. And last but not least, a uh, guy who should be in the Hall of Fame with all the scandal going on with the Astros and the trash cans and the PEDs we've had. I think it's time to everybody wake up and let Mr. Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. His 63 rookie card. Like I said, the corners are all really bad on this card. I mean, they're not the greatest at all, but the autograph is a 10. It is the real deal rookie card, and he definitely needs to be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. You guys are looking to let possibly Bonds and, and Roger Clemens in in two years. They're climbing on that Hall of Fame ballot votes, and they're climbing on that. And it's just it's a shame that they have not allowed Pete Rose to be in. He needs to be in the Hall of Fame, period. All right, that's all the slides I'm going to show today. But now I'm going to talk about some uh, prospects and a major leaguer who I'm really, really high on, and I'm really looking to investing in all these guys. I think they all have great potential. So first off is uh, Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. This kid has can hit. He's got really good potential with the Cardinals. I believe he's one of the top five prospects in their organization. Um, I think he's going to be really, really good. So if you haven't picked anything up of his, I suggest you do it. He's number five on my list. Number four is a guy who has a chance to get the starting job with the Cubs at shortstop is Nico Horner. He came up last year for a little bit, had a pretty good small little season when he did come up, but he does have the shot to take that shortstop position since Addison Russell is gone. So, like I said, if I were you guys, I'd look up, look at getting Nico Horner. Uh, another guy who was tearing up spring training before we had the COVID problem and uh, is Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. He was just tearing it up and I believe this kid is the real deal also. He's going to have a great season. If the season does start, I actually think he will make the team. So I would suggest you guys pick up on some Dylan Carlson. Another guy I'm looking at is coming out of the Braves organization. They just have a loaded farm system. And this kid is going to be really special, I think. Him and uh, Acuna out in that outfield in the future is just going to be really scary. And I'm talking about Mr. Christian Pache. The kid is a stud. I have a feeling that, like I said, he's going to be really good. And with him and Acuna in that outfit, it's going to be a dangerous one-two punch out there. So if you haven't grabbed any of Pache, you should. And then my number one prospect that I keep banging my drum about. I saw him last year in the Cal League. The kid can hit. He is the real deal. I'm talking about Mr. Julio Rodriguez. So I would definitely start looking at picking him up. The kid can rake. I mean, he is really, really good. 
So if you haven't got anything of Julio Rodriguez, rookie wise, autograph wise, I suggest you do it. I know his Bowman rookie cars, auto certified, are pretty expensive, but if you can find the upper, the lower ones like the Heritage Minor, the Pro Debut, I suggest you get on them. And then last but not least is a major leaguer who I think will have a great season. I don't know if he'll ever get an MVP, but with the team that he's on, he has a chance to do something very special. Um, I'm talking about Mr. Yoan Moncada. He had a extremely sneaky year last year. I think he had a couple MVP votes, if I'm not mistaken. But he is a sneaky, sneaky player. With, Rob, with Luis Robert coming up, and then you got Jimenez, Tam Anderson, Jose Abreu coming back. There is not a lot of pressure for him now. He's not the man, but he can be. I'm very high on him. If you go look up his stats, he had a great, great season. He improved his batting average a lot. So I have really high future on Moncada. If you don't have cards of him, I suggest you go picking him up. So with that being said tonight, I am done. I'm going to throw another video up probably tomorrow or the next day with some more slabs, maybe some more pickups. And then uh, if you have any comments, leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up, man. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, man. Come on. What's it going to hurt to free to subscribe? So with that being said, you guys have a good night. See ya.